there. It's the Divine Miss Mickey. I'm going to try and make this a quickie because uh, I had to wait until rain went over and so I think we're getting scattered showers. So with a tin roof, common when you're out rural Australia and uh, yeah it gets pretty loud in here so uh, we're going to try and fit it in between the rain. Can't complain I'm on rain tanks, tanks it keeps water in them. So anyway, I hope you're all doing really well. Such interesting times we're in. And there's lessons. Everywhere you look, there are lessons to learn. And one of the things I, I have noticed is how often people live their life through others. So how can you live your life if you're busy living someone else's life what does that mean okay there are people who they're told that they have to be a secretary they're told they have to be a shop assistant they're told that they have to uh, do a law degree because that's been in the family and inside they might want to be an actress they might want to be a singer they might want to be a clown in a circus and why can't they be okay if you can't actually sing then you're probably not going to be the singer but you could be something else there's always something else that you're good at that you can make a living out of. So the point is that when you're living your life through other people, through the expectations of other people, through what other people tell you or what you believe other people want of you, are you living your life are you living the life that you came here to do? Now, that's where it gets interesting because we have our life plan before we come down. Some may not believe in this, and that's cool. You know, it, we're all entitled to believe what we want to believe. So, but... It's about living to your true potential for your life, for who you are, for what brings you joy, for what you're good at. Can you get the message? Yeah, I'm sure there's heaps of you that know all this already. But there could be one or two of you out there going, oh, geez, yeah. Oh. Man, you know, mum wanted me to do this, so I was a good and obedient daughter and I went and did this and I'm not happy. Or, well, all these people said I should be going and doing this, so I'm doing this and I'm not happy. What's the point if you're not happy is that money going to be worth it and what's it doing to your mental health to your physical health to your emotional health to what makes you happy that is feasible I mean come on gotta have a bit of common sense here um, that's where the difference between you know, intellectual common sense and or intellectual logic and emotional logic, which has been a new thing that uh, has come to me, um, actually, from spirit. I had an example and I went, wow, yeah, there's two different types of logic and I was seeing it right in front of me. Intellectual logic, but no emotional logic. And it's like, that's the shut off. 
That's shutting off the emotions, which is a self-defense mechanism. Uh, and just using that logic, because that's how it's meant to be. I'm going to defend myself by using logic. Mm, I've done that. It doesn't always work. So, anyway, I've gone off subject. I do that bit, don't I? But somehow it all marries together, so... And that looked good, didn't it? Ooh. Squirrel. Um, or as Libby says... So, <laughs> Skittles is down there having a rest and she, um, she heard that and, uh, and just suddenly jumped. Actually, it was really funny today. We, I was watching um, Shari uh, from, um, what is it, Voices from the Swamp, I think it was. It is, uh, she's awesome. She's so funny. Anyway, she did this Cajun music for her intro. And I had it coming through the speaker, um, and, and poor Skittles. No, it wasn't Skittles, it was Leo. Leo suddenly jumped up, was, what the hell is that? He never heard Cajun music, has he? So I don't think he'll be going to the Mardi Gras. Anyway, like I should waffle on. But... Um, what I thought I'd do on this subject, because uh, it is an important thing about living your life through other people and, and you know, you're, you're living their expectation of your life. You're not living your life. So I thought I'd do some cards. So the first ones, I'll show you the boxes first, yes. My favorite, light sears. So we're gonna do some light sears. Another favourite, butterfly affirmations. So we'll pull a butterfly affirmation. And then one that it's very old and ratty, but magical mermaids and dolphins. Oops, we'll get out of the, uh, that's Doreen Virtue. I've got a few of hers. So I haven't, had, I don't, I haven't used these for a while. So. So I thought what I'd do is I'll pull a few cards, um, whatever feels right, whatever I'm told to do. I like to do as I'm told, sometimes, but anyway. Uh, it's late here, it's, well, it's only 11.04pm, it's not that late for me. I'm recording this at 11.04 p.m. on Sunday the 11th of February. Am I something? 45 years ago, today, I was in a hospital in Perth, in labour, having my first baby. My beautiful girl, it's her birthday tomorrow, on the 12th, so yeah, it took a while to get her out. That's another story. Let's focus on this, living our lives through other people. I don't think she'll see this, but who knows, oh, okay. Pardon me for a sec while I uh, grab the ones that fell on the floor. Ooh. We got a few down here. Let's see the top of my head. I think we this one obviously is wants to be a significator. Hmm. Well, 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 well. Obviously that's this is what they wanted. So anyway, this is at the center. The lovers. So how does that fit in with the subject of living your life through others? Well, you know, uh, when you're in a relationship, sometimes you live your, your life in that relationship according to what the other person wants. So therefore, it's not a balanced relationship. 
so this is about having balance in those relationships so that you are balanced in your life. So that seems to be the significator. I have no idea what they want me to do there. Oh, okay. Oh, the Ace of Cups. When you're out of balance, you can be overwhelmed very easily. When you're in balance, then your cup runneth over. You're full of all that love. So therefore, it's important to keep your balance going and to, to allow that wonderful feeling of your emotions just flowing over. That's so important. But if you're living your life through someone else, you're not being true to yourself, therefore the emotions can become overwhelming. Or you do the opposite and try to bury your emotions, living logically. Not healthy. Not healthy. Oh, this card's been coming up a lot for me. The Queen of Pentacles. Again, when we're balanced. When we're balanced, we have what we need and we sit in our own, it's like a, a truth, but it's, it's, it's not like the mind truth. It's the being, the truth of being, being ourselves, being true to ourselves, sitting in that. And we can have what we want. We can have what we need. Life can be good. But when we become unbalanced, sometimes we can become... Well, I'm getting smug, but I just don't think that that's the right word. Um, okay, they're saying like aloof. We can become aloof. Um, we throw out our armor. We put the barrier across so that um, we don't let, again, the emotions overwhelm us. Rather than be balanced and in harmony. Because when we're balanced in harmony, the lights are on beaming down on us we're just reveling in all that we have and that's the importance of being in balance when you're living your life your life for you doing what makes you happy it's pretty wonderful it's pretty wonderful because when we're not, what do we got? We've got the negativity, the fear. So here's where we have our choice. We can have, stay balanced and live our life and have all this joyous love and light and our emotions are balanced. Or we can live with the fear and the negativity and the control and the emotions become overwhelming and we're not sitting in our power so it's something that we have to stop and consider and face because sometimes we don't face things but take the time to look at this Take the time to think. Step back and say, am I doing this for me or am I doing it for someone else? And let the messages of love come through. Let that feeling of love. He's got roses. Oh. 
been a while since I've had roses. <laughs> it's all right. Um, but it's really, really pointing about the 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 feeling of balance in this, keeping the balance. You know, someone might have all these gifts for you. They might have all this. Um, give you all this material stuff or the roses and the ring and you know all this stuff but if they're not letting you live your life do what makes you happy makes you feel good then is it possible that they're living themselves in the wrong energy and expecting you to live in that energy as well just something to think about so how many majors did we get well we only got two or no, three so what we'll do is we're going to get a butterfly affirmation and so we're going to get a butterfly affirmation a nice affirmation for everyone even if it's just one person it applies to it's going to help people to take control and live their life, their true, authentic, genuine life, by choosing to not live their life through the expectations of others. So can we have a, a beautiful affirmation? probably should have but it just wasn't one that happened before it just didn't feel right I think it's because I was drawn to the purple colour and I love purple so okay so if you can pop one out this one this one oh okay that's a good one Particularly, we've got Valentine's Day. Uh, well, for me, it's tomorrow, like very soon. And for some of you, you're still, you know, a day away. And nothing is impossible for the heart. Love will always find a way. There's your beautiful butterfly, and here's your affirmation. How's that? What would that mean? Looking at what we've said, where is the love? It's the love for yourself. I'm not talking about ego as in, oh, jeez, I'm just so cool. This, I'm really cool. Hear the difference? Because ego is not a dirty word times. It always makes me think of a Skyhook song. If you haven't heard of the Skyhooks, where were you? But it's, well, it's in a well, kind of New Zealand Australian band. Um, fantastic. Absolutely loved them. Um, and they had a song called Ego is Not a Dirty Word. Ego is not a dirty word. Ego is not a Dirty word, dirty word, dirty word. So, nothing is impossible for the heart. Love will always find a way. When you have the love in your heart, when you are doing what you love, then everything else will fall into place. Everything else will fall into place. So, there's something to think about. We didn't manage to get through without any rain. So now for a mermaid card. I'm very, very passionate about this subject because I not only have lived it myself, and believe me, it got me nowhere 
absolutely nowhere trying to please everyone else and and doing what they thought I should do and I was so unhappy and but I see it in other people as well trying to please say what everyone wants to hear I'm going to do this because this is what I I, I think is the right thing to do and but yeah it's not always you know you gotta live your life for you you know people stay in relationships that are long past the use by date because they think that's what they should do yep been guilty done it don't do it again oh that doesn't mean I won't open the door love and romance and all that I'm too much of a romantic but I'm living my life for me that just reminds me of um, there's a book called The Road Less Travelled um, by M. Scott Peck and years and years and years ago I was reading it and I got to where it was the ideal relationship and it's a H relationship two people standing independently joined in the middle it's the H so can I get my fingers to work a H kind of but it's the H you're standing together you join in the middle so you're living it, your lives as yourself but you're able to find that connection that works because love will always find a way and nothing is impossible so the love energy when we have it strong it's not overwhelming when we have the balance we're not overwhelmed by emotion our cup runners over it's amazing and then we're sitting in our power and we have what we need pretty cool and the sun shines Sunshine on a rainy day, bless my soul, bless my soul, drip, drip away. Okay, I know a lot of Aussie songs. I'm Aussie, what do you expect? Okay, so now the mermaid. I have not used these in a long time, so my beautiful mermaid cards. We want, when you live your life through other people, you're not living your life. Can we have a message? Even if it's just for one person, it means that person needs to hear that. And maybe it will be for more than one person. So if we can just have one person, one person, one card please, one card. One, that one? Yep, okay, this one? Okay. <laughs> Let yourself receive. Allow others to give you loving care. Receive without guilt or apologies. So how does that apply? Give yourself your life. Allow yourself to have your life. And surround yourself with friends who respect your life who give you the gift of saying wow that's awesome because it's not good to have people saying you shouldn't be doing that that's not that's not for you you should be doing what everyone else is doing no you're an individual and part of your love for yourself and the gift you give to yourself is to live your life as long as you're not doing any harm you know 
you may want to be a serial killer, but that's not really the way to go. So, you know, do it with love. Okay. So, it's a really nice card, isn't it? Why haven't I used these again? Yep, allow others to give you loving care. Receive without guilt or apologies. Let yourself receive. It's wonderful. I might leave that out for myself, actually. I'll look at that for a few days. Because I know I've got something big coming in my life. Um, something that's going to change my life. It's been coming up a lot. So when it happens, you'll be the first to know. Anyway, I was going to make this a short one. We haven't had any rain, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, I hope that this video greets you with good health, with happiness. I hope that life is kind to you. But more than anything, be kind to you. You be kind to you. Yeah, okay, maybe... Maybe you said something you in the wrong way, okay, go. Instead of beating yourself up, go, hmm, what can I learn from that? Can I, can I change something about myself so that, you know, I feel better and I'm being true and honest and not just reacting? We've all done it. So no, be kind to yourself. Pamper yourself. Um, here's a clue for anyone that wants to release the need to smoke. I don't say quit because that can feel negative and the inner child goes, I don't want to. So this when years and years and years ago. I released the need to smoke. And it was easy. The one thing that I vowed was every payday, I spoiled myself. I got, even if it was something little, I made sure I had something that was just for me, that was bought with the money I would have spent getting the tobacco. So treat yourself. When you are succeeding at doing something, Pat yourself on the back, go, yeah, hey, I'm going to treat myself. Take yourself off to see a movie or um, buy yourself a little trinket or a nice essential oil. I don't talk about perfume in my house. I'm allergic to it. Um, you know, take yourself out for a, a, a meal or a cuppa in a cafe or, you know, um, a massage. Something that makes you feel good about where you're going and what you're doing. They're really important. These little encouragement booths that, at a girl, you're the best one to do it for yourself. You really are, because sometimes people say things and they're not actually genuine. They're saying it because, well, that's that's what I was taught to say, and this is this is how the right thing to say, and this is what you're meant to say. No, you're the best one to know what is the best thing to say for you, and you're the best one to pat yourself on your back want to say yeah gee I did that was good I'm quite proud of that look at what I've achieved it's not ego that's self-value that's self-worth so live your life be kind to yourself be kind to others practice practice random acts of kindness it's so cool and travel your journey with self-respect, with honesty 
and be your true, genuine self. And on that note, I'm going to bid you adieu and we shall catch up again. And please remember, it helps the algorithms, you know, we all say it, but it really does. So if you could like, if you could subscribe, if you comment, I love the comments. I really do. I've got a few that comment and I just love it. I may not be able to get to them straight away, but I love it. It's like we're pen friends. It's fantastic. It feels good. So on that note, bye for now. And I'll be back. Catch you on the other side.